Why are fewer people buying electric cars at the moment? Is it because they're too expensive and the novelty sort of worn off? Well, this new car is designed to change that. It's the new Renault 5 and it's surprisingly affordable and really rather interesting. And in this video, I'll tell you why. I feel like I might have just become pregnant. Hello, Osmo man. Work. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Let's start this video by talking about the design of this car because that's the key selling point. Now it's supposed to look futuristic, very, very modern, but it's also supposed to be retro looking and have plenty of cues to the old Renault 5. So let's check them out. At the rear, you have tail lights, which are the same shape as on the classic Renault 5. And this little area here is very much a nod to the original Renault 5 turbo. Then there's this strip. Now it's not in the exact same position that used to have like a trim piece on the older Renault 5s, but it's definitely a little bit of a retro styling cue there. Oh, and unlike other Renaults where you have the Renault diamond at the back, you have the words Renault and the big five there. You can tell it's a Renault 5, even if none of that was there. Just like the old Renault 5 GT Turbo, which was one of my favorite cars when I was younger. I've always wanted one. It's got like these extended wheel arches and the side trims. You can also get different stickers here as well. In terms of alloy wheels, they're all 18 inches. You can also get 18 inch steel wheels on the entry level car. Those are the largest steel wheels I've ever seen, apart from on a truck. The rear door design is supposed to mimic the old Renault 5 as well. You see that car was a three door. So what Renault have done is hidden the handle for the rear door like this. Obviously you can still see the shut lines, but you get the idea. At the front, you've got square DRLs in the headlight and square fog lights. The idea is to mimic the square headlamps of the old Renault 5. I really do like the front of this car. I think it's got a really good face to it, but there is something I'm not so keen on. Come on, look at this. Now to mimic the old vent that you used to get in the bonnet, they've done this thing here. What it is, is a thing that lights up there saying five. For some reason, it's just gone off. Lucky me. Work. I'll show you on another car. But it doesn't just say five. That can actually adjust to show the percentage of the battery when you're charging it. I don't like that at all. I'd rather just have it complete bonnet. That is silly. Very silly. There's another thing I don't like. You see this paint? It's great. Looks fantastic. Really pops. And if you look carefully, you'll see that it's actually metallic. Lovely green paint. However, there is a phrase, red and green should not be seen together. Kind of looks a little bit like a Christmas tree. And maybe I can forgive the tail lights, but this red strip around here, no. Thankfully, you can have this strip in a different color. You can have it black or gold. Also, you can have different color roofs as well. Let's have a look under the bonnet. Being an electric car, there should be a nice big frunk. No, it's just full of electronics. But motor down there and the inverter. The Renault 5 is front wheel drive only, but you can get it with three power outputs. There is a 95 horsepower version, which takes 12 seconds to get from 0 to 60 miles an hour. Then there's the mid spec 123 horsepower version or the range topping 150 horsepower version, which do 0 to 60 in 7.9 seconds. In the future, there will be a high performance Alpine version, but until then, this is what you've got. If you want to compare the performance of the Renault 5 to its key competitors, pause the video now because I've got a handy slide for you. Gotta say, I absolutely love the interior design of the new Renault 5. It's a really interesting look, isn't it? The dash and the way the instruments and key controls are angled towards the driver. Got the retro vibe going on in here, but once again, thoroughly, thoroughly modern. So some of the plastics up here feel a bit cheap, but I can forgive Renault of that because I'm totally loving the denim feel. It's magic. So too are the seats just like in an old Renault 5 Turbo. Oh yeah, steering wheel, that's got a retro feel to it, but once again, very, very modern. And look, there's your gear selector up there. Handy position for it. And if you want to, you can customize it with slightly different looks and feels. Now, all cars get a big infotainment screen like that and a large digital driver's display that's slightly smaller on entry level versions. Got lots of information on there. And you even have a little assistant there like that, which is linked to ChatGPT. And you've also got Google Maps, which will navigate your route by charging locations and tell you exactly how long you need to stay in order to get to your next stop. Practicality wise, door bins are a bit shallow. Got some useful cup holders down here, some cubby space down here, wireless charging pad. You've got your USB-Cs there, your 12 volt socket, an okay size glove box. And you're probably wondering what this thing is. Believe it or not, that is your baguette holder. There's no baguette in there. 
Oh well, maybe I could put my dildo in it. I'd like to introduce you to the battery pack on the new Renault 5. So you can get it with two different capacities, either 40 kilowatt hours, which will give you a range of 186 miles, or 52 kilowatt hours, which gives you a range of up to 249 miles. Now, if you'd like to compare the range of this car to its key competitors, I've got another handy slide for you. Pause the video now. If you go for the car with a smaller battery pack, it will charge up to a maximum of 80 kilowatts on DC charging. The bigger battery pack can charge at 100 kilowatts. Both will charge at 11 kilowatts on AC charging. Now, one of the interesting things about this car is that it has vehicle to load capability, so you can run household appliances off the battery. You can also hook it up to your house to power your house or to put some electricity back into the grid to earn yourself some money. I kind of like this, look. It's like some kind of lightsaber thingy. I wonder if it's actually giving out charge. Oh, oh. I wonder if I lick it. You know when you lick a battery? Ooh. Buying a new or used car? Then you need to visit CarWow and we'll help you find your perfect car at a price you'll love. Just answer a few simple questions about the car you want and our trusted dealers will come back to you with great offers. Then choose the offer that's right for you and contact the dealer directly through CarWow. No haggling, no fees, and on average, CarWow users save over £1,800. But what if you're not sure which car you actually want? No problem. Just watch our insightful video reviews, read our impartial expert advice, or use our helpful car buying tools to discover your ideal car in no time at all. No wonder 95% of customers surveyed said they wouldn't buy a car without CarWow. I've put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow so you can see for yourself how it can help you or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing up there right now. Alternatively, just Google help me CarWow and my team and I will help you choose your perfect car and get it for a price your love. Now on with the video. Back seats aren't great, which is a bit of a shame because there are a few things I like. Headroom is okay. And the design of this headliner is cool as. Also, the seats are nice and squidgy and they're reclined enough, but it's not good in terms of knee room. Look at that. And it's even worse in terms of foot space. My foot just feels like it's in a bear trap. It's like clamped. This part of the car just pushes forward. The base part of the seat, I feel like my knees are too high because the seat's too close to the floor. This seat is actually my ideal driving position and I'm not particularly tall. I'm 179 centimeters. Now, Nick is over six foot. Nick, can you um, get yourself comfortable because my driving position won't be comfortable for you. Go on. No, you I definitely, <laughs> I've done, oh no, go on, go, 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 go. Oh, that's better. Uh, oh, yes. That, that, honestly, is that how you drive? Yeah. yeah oh, no. I, I, I'm going to have to go shotgun because this is just not going to work for me at all. Lift your seat up a bit, though, because it's slammed at the moment. Maybe I can get away with sliding my feet underneath. Any higher and I touch the roof. But how's that okay, so I can just about fit them in. But if I need to make an emergency exit, they're going to be trapped under there and I'll dislocate my ankles. At least the rear windows are quite big. Will they go all the way down? Go on. No, no oh dear. Also, there's no armrest, although I don't really expect them in you know, a car of this size. Ice fix angle points, they look easy to get to though. That is a positive. And you know what? There are some on the front as well, just are like there? a 911. Oh really, oh awesome. Yeah. There's no USB connectors though here in the back. Look. Well, do you need USBs when you don't have feet? <laughs> <laughs> we have a man joining us with his Osmo. Hello Osmo man. It's okay. We like to have you in our video. Come over here. Right. Right. As a, as a penance for interrupting our video, you need to come and sit in here. I want food smash. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Yeah, you happy? Bloody hell, you're a large <laughs> lad, aren't you? What's your name? Derek from Ireland. Hello, Derek from Ireland. <laughs> Look at that. And that Put that seat level with yours, Derek. This is really, this is gonna hurt. Derek. Yeah, this is this is for interrupting, Derek. Pushed. Oh, pushed <laughs> <in that one. laughs> Still further forward. Should we try three in the back? <laughs> Go on, let's try three in the back. Come on, Derek, get in the middle. Lewis, reposition. <laughs> Me. It's not meant for this, right? But it said five. They did say five people. I'm not sure. Five small people. Leprechauns? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Well, yeah. Although we're so close together in here, I think I Where might. Where does their seatbelts 
Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yes, there are. There's a headrest. Can't reach them though. So. Look at this. <laughs> well, we're not, if they're in an accident, we're going to be okay. We're we'll going to. Well, maybe. <laughs> or we'll just become one person. Speaking of which, I feel like I might have just become pregnant. Um, wow. <laughs> Nine months from today as well. <laughs> Nine months from today is when this car goes on sale. Actually. Oh. Right. In September. Will there be a little Watson? <laughs> the first ever male conception. <laughs> That's awkward. Let's go. <laughs> The boot capacity of the new Renault 5 is 326 litres, so it's slightly larger than a Peugeot E208, though about 60 litres down on an internal combustion engine Renault Clio. Now, normally I would be in the boot to illustrate the actual capacity, but today we have Lewis doing it. A bit of roll reversal. Let the cameraman get in the boot. Do you like that, Lewis? Hey? You like that? No, you don't like how that feels, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is something strange about the bulkhead on this new Renault 5. If you look, there's no hole there for the brake pedal's connection to the actual brakes. There should be piping and stuff. There's no space for it. Do you know why that is? Well, it's because Renault have gone all Tesla Cybertrucky. This car is brake by wire. Now, the reason they've done that is to improve the transition from regen braking to friction braking. Sometimes in EVs, it can feel a little bit jerky as you move from one kind of braking to the next, but not in this car. Another thing Renault has done is listen to customers who complain about the fact that their car safety systems automatically default to on, even when you've turned them off previously. Now with this car, you can actually set it up just as you want it, pick and choose which safety systems are on and off, and then when you get in the car, you can go to your precise settings by pressing this button up here, like that. So you're not just driving along and think that you've got the your lane departure warning off, but actually the steering wheel's tugging at your hand to steer you back in lane when you don't want it to. Finally, let's talk about the price, because this is quite a big deal. You see, the Renault 5 will start from €25,000, which is £22,000, when it goes on sale in France in September. It'll arrive in the UK early 2025. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you want to watch some more videos, I've picked a couple out for you there. I think you'll like it. Just click on those windows to watch them. Or if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You can do that just by hitting the CarWow logo there. Simple.